I'm going to go ahead and start today's meeting. It's September. Wow, it's already September 9th already, guys. And uh, pleasure to have all you guys here. I'm going to go ahead and start our meeting, but let's go ahead and have and start with our affiliates who are joining us today to share a little bit about what's going on in their industry. Um, I know Sandy here was first. So Sandy, uh, would you want to start us off today? I sure do. So um, it's getting a little cooler, thank God. But the best thing you can remind your clients when you're talking, reaching out to them to make sure they're okay with all the fires or whatnot, the best thing they can do for their air conditioners is change your filters, especially with the bad air quality. The more often you change your filters, the better your air quality in your house will be, and the better your air conditioning system will run. The number one cause of your air conditioner failing is clogged air, not being able to get through the filters. That's a death sentence for your air conditioner. We have a program called Filter Joy, where we automatically ship filters to your clients. The first one is free. Um, I'm going to drop my info into chat. If you guys need anything, I'm always here to help. Have a great day. Thank you very much, Sandy. Appreciate that knowledge. And uh, we'll go ahead and do Brandon's uh, tag off the first American theme. And then we'll go to Unita right after that. Perfect. Thanks, Kelvin. Um, well, as I know, everyone has been talking about and we will continue to talk about is fire season. Um, so a couple of really good sources of um, just information that you can use, especially if you live in the fo foothill community, if you're living in Monrovia or the area that is closest to the fire, or you have clients or past clients. Um, FEMA has these really great checklists that someone can literally print out and then check off as they're going through. And a lot of the things people forget about is they're in a rush, they're putting things together, they forget about their medicine and things that are maybe not something that they're thinking about, um, as well as all the pet food and things that your pet may need and just all the different things. So pets, family, um, if you have elderly neighbors, I know that's another thing that um, a lot of the community is trying to help with um, these elderly, um, you know, neighbors that may not have someone there to help them to get out of harm's way or to get things that they need necessary. So that, um, that list that FEMA provides, I can put into the chat and then send me uh, an, an email or give me a call if you need any more information like that. Um, but again, FEMA has great resources for you and anyone else that you know. Appreciate that, Brandon. Thanks, man. Uh, yeah, go to, uh, are you there, Unita? There you yes, are. Hi, you need us. a Google home warranty for America, your 13 months home warranty. So if you guys need any help on home warranty, let me know. We still have the free promotion for the second refrigerator for free this month. And then if you are listing, we are giving the listing sellers coverage. Also, if you have um, small children in the home and when, when you're placing a claim or an older person, please let us know. Uh, we're still doing the portable um, air conditioning right now uh, for senior and um, the with person with the kids, so with the smaller baby. Thank you. Got your nice little home warranty of America orange on, looking great. Uh, we'll ne go to Mark Wu next, and then uh, my true after that. Good morning, everybody. Uh, the biggest thing I can tell you right now to do is make sure your home insurance coverage is enforced and you have adequate coverage. Again, it's super important to know what you have before something happens. We can help you with your insurance needs. Five languages out of our office. Mark Wu with Allstate Insurance for your property insurance needs. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Hey, Mai, how are you doing? Mai True, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Good morning, everyone. Mai True, Fidelity Title. Um, so today, if you got, uh, just wanted to say if you, any of you guys um, have a, um, if you're looking for like um, an owner that had purchased their property all cash in an LLC and you're unable to find the owners because there's no mortgage information, um, the, the website to go to would be businesssearch.sos.ca.gov. I'm going to also type it up in the chat afterwards too, so then you guys can get it. Um, so then you can look up their um, registration and SI information. Um, the registration and SI information at the Secretary of State will indicate who the owner is. And then there are some times where, I mean, even their um, SI Going until you get to the owner's names, um, and then once you get the owner's name, just give us the owner's name, and we can, um, you know, get their uh, information out to you, the property profile out to you. 
And um, oh yeah, and also this week I do have um, our, um, it's the mouse pad calendars, the 2021 calendars, they came out. So, and our desktop, I'm sorry, there's this delay. I know I sent an email out to everybody, but there's still a delay in that. So it should be becoming um, shipping next week. So that should be out as well. So if you guys know, and I'll bring it out to you. My true fidelity title. Thank you, Ma, I appreciate that. Uh, who did I call on next? Was it, uh, was it over, uh, oh, do go ahead and go Dan Chapman. Dan, the man, the mover. Kelvin, good morning, everybody. Uh, Dan, the mover, AQMS, National Van Lines. Uh, next week on Wednesday afternoon, uh, doing a class at the AAR uh, regarding moving. It's the ins and outs of moving. I love my title. But uh, it covers everything from, uh, you know, doing a move yourself to renting a truck to pods all the way up to full service celebrity moving. So, if you'd like to, uh, you know, learn about our industry so that you can be more uh, helpful to your clients, stop by. Thanks. All right. Very helpful. Uh, that we'll go ahead and do Scott Shimamoto next and then Angie Tang. Hey, everybody. Scott Shimamoto, Journey Mortgage Advisor. I just wanted to thank uh, Adam for sitting in on our comedy fundraiser. We raised over $1,100 for the American Cancer Society. Hope you had a good time, Adam. Uh, I just want to say, um, you know, right now is a is a time where you know people need to stay safe and want to look at these houses and stuff and sometimes your um your clients don't want to get pre-approved with a lender and you don't want to be out there you know just like driving them around and you know you don't know if they qualify or not so i have a really good power phrase that you could use and this might help you just tell them if you're out there and you're looking for a place and you're not ready to go you're going to find the deal of the century and you're not going to be able to buy the house because you're not ready to go. And, you know, there's multiple, li multiple offers on all these good listings. So um, that's what I tell the people who are giving me a hard time when I'm talking to them about, like, providing documentation. I just say, look, you know, you can either be ready, you know, and be able to buy this house, or you could be not ready and you could get disappointed a lot. So maybe that will help, hopefully. Scott Shimamoto, Journey Mortgage Advisors. Thanks. No, that's, I, I love that. I appreciate that, Scott. And that's all sales that we all learn and, 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 and uh, style that we have to learn how to really just get them to understand the immediate attention that's sometimes needed to, to do something. And some people, unfortunately, don't, don't listen to other people's advice and they like to struggle and learn the hard way. And uh, <laughs> it's probably you're right. It's going to take some people some disappointment. But, you know, if you're trustworthy, if you have a compelling reason, if you've got a good argument and a nice smile, you know, there's no reason why not uh, they should get pre-approved or why not they should uh, start working with you and, and, and going through your questions. Um, so thank you for that. Angie, how are you doing today? Are you ready? Yep, I'm ready. Hi, guys. Angie Tang, First American. How is everyone doing? Hope everyone's Good. doing well, safe and healthy. There's so many different things and variables happening right now. Um, wanted to also talk about title, of course. Um, if you guys have any issues with any BKs or if you're dealing with a client that had a BK and says it's all over and that, that it's been taken care of, um, just double check that with, all, with title because sometimes the way it was uh, completed or the way the clients thought it was completed may not be completed in a sense that it can pass on title when we go through the transaction. So if you uh, have any questions on that, um, whether it be a BK on Chapter 7 or 13, please give us a call. We can at least guide you through the transaction process. That way you don't waste a lot of time before you go into escrow. So I'm here to help you grow your business and keep it. Angie Tang, First American Title. Thank you. Thank you, Angie. Appreciate having all of you guys here. Uh, great affiliates are very supportive and helpful and honestly a wealth of knowledge. You know, we can't know everything. That's why we count on our affiliates and their industry and their expertise to guide our clients and help them. And they're all friendly and we'll make sure that your client feels comfortable with whatever they're doing and they're working on. So thank you all for being here. Our sales meeting slides now begin. And I can tell you it's been incredibly hot this past weekend. It's been incredibly crazy. We've had a lot of uh, uh, fires going on. We've had uh, the heat wave going on. And now we have all these ashes going on. And I think it said in the report that the fires in California, especially the ones here in the, in the Angeles Crest Forest and the San Gabriel Mountains, these may not be contained for another month. It might be going on for another month where they're gonna to try to just contain it and just try to protect the, uh, the residencies and the neighborhoods, but they're gonna just let them run uh, on the north side of the foothill. So be cautious, be out there, and uh, just know that these, these fires are still gonna continue. This is uh, one of the 
record-breaking years for California fires. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start with today's quote. And it's, I like this one from Benjamin Franklin. <clears throat> it says, tell me, I'll, and tell me and I'll forget. Show me and I may remember. Involve me and I learn. And you, we all know Benjamin Franklin was a genius uh, inventor and obviously a very wise, intelligent dude. I read his autobiography and in this kind of particular quote, he's sharing and telling us that, you know, involve those around you in what you're doing. Involve those in, and teach them, you know, like they teach a man how to fish and he can fish for a lifetime. And what I'm trying to do and involve you and, and, and keep your engagement throughout these sales meetings and our trainings, the more involved you are, uh, the more uh, you participate, the more questions you ask throughout our sessions together, the better you're going to learn to do this on your own, the better you're going to be able to practice real estate as a professional. And just, it takes a lot of, it does take practice. You know, like Scott said, it takes, sometimes it takes you to uh, rehearse your scripts and to practice your smile and, and, and being able to read people's uh, uh, body language. And then you also got to practice your, your tools. You know, your Cole Banker tools has this bunch set, your MLS and your association with Arcadia Association with Realtors also gives you a, a ton of tools that are at your disposal. So talk to your uh, other expertise, you know, like all, all the uh, affiliates, a lot of them provide another app or another service or a login that can give you a lot of information that's going to help you in your business. So I just encourage you to be involved and get me involved if you want me to help you really improve so you can understand something. So you be, can become a better explainer. And uh, that's gonna help you when you're able to, to explain things comfortably to your clients. All right, guys. So we're gonna go on and talk about uh, California COVID. I know that we have all these crises going on, just not only in California with our fires, but globally with the pandemic. Just a report, I'm not gonna waste a lot of time, but I did see that there is even less than the weeks prior of COVID cases in California. Uh, last week, it was uh, 34,000 um, uh, increases, and now this past week, only 30,000 approximately. So that is showing some reduction, some flattening of the curve, because prior to that, it was about nine to 11,000 per day, okay? So there is some progress. There's a, maybe it's the heat going away. I don't know what it is, but uh, if you do want to get tested, or you can go through the county of Los Angeles. Uh, you can also pick up your free Cobalt Banker Dynasty mask if you haven't picked yours up yet. And uh, you can also go to Monrovia if you want to do a drive-through testing as well. Go ahead and click that information. And uh, they are doing it for both people with and without symptoms. Our company brokerage prevention plan is posted in this link. Within the drive, I have to put this mandatory for all agents to understand. If you're coming into the office, you have to abide by all these safety rules and respect uh, the environment and others. We talked about what's coming up and I wanted to remind you that there is a new section called My Cobalt Banker Desk, mycbdesk.com, which is basically replacing our Cobalt Banker tools, which we all used to be found in Cobalt Banker Exchange. So if you want to visit there, just a reminder to click the link. It's the same login, same password that you normally would have for your Cobalt Banker tools. And uh, check it out. The new layout is great. It's refreshed. It's easier to navigate and find the things that you want. And you can make it like your own homepage to really show what kind of uh, uh, things that you want to see instead of just, you know, the ordinary dashboard. You get to customize your dashboard to the things that you like the most. I uh, have a couple of uh, reminder invitations. These are awesome electronic virtual Zoom sessions that you're going to be able to join while safety at your home, but you're going to be able to attend some and listen to some really insightful speakers dedicated to improving your real estate business in this new normal, in this virtual reality of, uh, of, of what's going on in the pandemic. So Cole Banker, we have our conference coming up it's still not too late to register for some of these courses. It's absolutely free for some of them. And uh, you can get these breakout sessions and join in. If you've never been to a Gen Blue session ever before, um, they're incredible. These are really, really well done events. 
with amazing speakers, and these are some of the best in the nation. So I hope you can join and watch. You can see the topics that's coming up on September 17th and 16th. Uh, we're gonna have these, uh, these uh, classes going on all day long for two days. So I can ask you to reminder, just go ahead and click on this registration button and uh, you can see a little promo video about what it's about. And it's going to be the first time they're offering it on, online. So uh, it allows them to give it to more of the cold banker agents. I encourage you to join. I know you're tired of me uh, speaking, so why not learn from someone else and pick their brain and listen to their content? Because uh, you can never, never learn enough. And uh, when you do want to join my sessions every week, I've been doing this consistently, training on really, really relevant topics every Tuesday at 2 o'clock. Join my Zoom session and learn everything you need to know about real estate. And from A to Z, I teach uh, really, really insightful things. And if you happen to miss our sessions of our sales meetings or trainings, you can usually find it on content on my YouTube video. And my station, uh, my channel over here is growing and I hope you can like and subscribe to it so that you can get notified and see that uh, there's a lot of new content coming on every single week. We have a great class from Nancy Chan tomorrow. This is going to be really understanding mechanics liens and how this impacts your transactions, how homeowners can avoid it and how to know if a homeowner, if, if there even is a uh, recorded lien against their property. So <clears throat> don't be surprised in your transactions when you open escrow and you find out you have a hidden lien that you and the owner don't know about. There's ways to solve this. Obviously, it's teaching to tell you, order your preliminary title report anytime you grab a listing early so that you can do some of these checks in advance. The link is here above. It starts at 11 a.m. tomorrow. And I believe JL and Kenneth already sent you guys the links as a reminder. We're gonna do reminders every week, uh, Monday and Tuesday. We just wanna make sure that you guys are having the link easy for you to guys join the classes uh, from here on out. Next month, we do have an, another amazing conference and this is hosted by the California Association of Realtors. I'll be joining and registering for this session here uh, great inf content, just like uh, Cole Banker. Um, this is a state level. Uh, so I, I encourage you to join the free session. And there's a bunch of amazing speakers. So set up, set, uh, say the date for October 12th to 14th and register at the CAR website. And uh, you, this is part of your member benefits. So I encourage you to utilize your member benefits, listen to as many speakers as you can, and you definitely enjoy your session. I have a, a feature topic uh, this week. And again, I just always wanna to try to answer relevant questions that you guys have. This one comes from an agent who's having a, a struggle and a dispute with another agent regarding the payment and discussion on HOA fees. <clears throat> They're having a buyer seller dispute, who should pay for what? And this is kind of really has to be involved in how are you setting up your contracts? So I wanted to spend some time with you. Whenever you're dealing with an HOA or a CCNR type of property, you have HOA fees, you have a manager or a property management company, and probably you're dealing with a condominium complex or multifamily units and a lot of residents living in the same shared area. Well, guess what? They have an HOA. They have a homeowners association that is kind of running not for profit, but just to manage and keep the community alive, keep the community going with their HOA fees. And that includes sometimes their fire insurance for the entire community. Sometimes that includes the maintenance of the common areas. Sometimes that HOA use, is used towards repairs for the, uh, or landscaping, the trash disposal. Sometimes they include water or utilities, or they have a solar installed. Anyways, we all know what the HOA does but we don't know how their fees are separated and why they have specific fees. So I wanna talk about that today. When you're writing your contract, whether you're a buyer or a seller, you should be checking the appropriate boxes because this could be a problem later on. And uh, obviously we know there's the HOA doc preparation fee. Whenever we try to open escrow, we order the HOA docs 
and they come out with uh, some sort of uh, high figure to prepare all these documents. And uh, we have these terms in the contract asking who pays for what. But the question is, you know, what is for civil code 4525? What most of the agents, if I ask any realtor, 90% of the realtors don't even know what it is. And, and we're checking these boxes without even knowing. So I think it's important we spend a little time to know what we're negotiating for. So that way we're become stronger negotiators. Does that make sense? So when you have an HOA or CCNR, uh, obviously when I'm representing a buyer, I typically customarily ask for the seller to pay for the city and county transfer tax fee. It's one time when you transfer property, transfer title. But when you have an HOA, let's say you're buying any condominium, you're gonna have sometimes what's called an HOA transfer fee too. And is it negotiable? Yes, that's why there's two check boxes. However, it's customary that the seller should pay for the homeowners association fee, unless you have a specific type of reason, like maybe you have a, a veteran uh, who's getting a VA loan and th that lender wants all fees to be paid by the seller, or maybe some FHA type of lenders or community grant uh, uh, awards for, for various programs, they might ask for the, uh, some of the closing costs to be paid by seller. But in majority of your cases, this is a seller uh, paid item. So it's normal. Notice how number four does not even give the option for the buyer to pay. It's non-negotiable. Seller shall pay the HOA fees for preparing the documents required to be delivered by California Civil Code 4525. My next slide, I'm gonna to explain to you what 4525 is. But these are the basically the minimum uh, <coughs> documents that a buyer should be uh, able to review for the due diligence regarding the community, the H association. That includes the minutes, the reserves, the budget, uh, all, the, all, the, all, the, all, the, all the customary things that we see when we order the HOA docs. However, there's also this fifth box and a sixth box that we should just understand what it means. The fifth box is usually what's required, and these are the HOA preparation doc fees other than those required by California Civil Code 4525. That's the definition, other than those required. And I'll explain to you in the next slide what they are, uh, but typically some of these times I can try to squeeze, and if I'm a buyer's agent, um, you know, I, I would say it's customary for the buyer to pay for those uh, other items. Sometimes it's items that are required by the lender and the lender needs to do uh, extra checks or they need to have uh, HOA certification. And uh, this technically could be negotiated and either party could pay. Um, so, you know, just want to know what this, I want you to know what this is. And the buyer should be paying for their own HOA certification fee. That's non-negotiable. It's already in there. That they, that's related to their own lender. Uh, but we had just had a dispute regarding this item and 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 where you know who's to pay for it. And it just goes to follow, follow the contract. Whatever you guys check, that is going to be the uh, the negotiated term. But I do want to explain that uh, items four five three zero is another civil code. And under, this just basically says that any association manager, president, uh, or the, uh, uh, the management company, they have 10 days from a re written request to mail or deliver the owners uh, uh, of a copy of all the documents that they specified and required for section 4525. Uh, in, in many years past, I think it was three or four years ago, a lot of HOAs were taking a long time, dragging their feet, not taking any type of course of sense of urgency whenever a NASCAR opens and the seller requests for the docs to be prepared. Uh, sometimes they would take two, three weeks and not give a damn because you know they're busy and they're just volunteers. But in this 4530 civil code, it makes it state mandated that they have to respond within 10 days. It's a good thing, it's an ordinary. But going to our next slide, I, I need to share with you that uh, there is also something called 4528, and I'm gonna click on this link in a second, but I'm gonna read to you what 4525 civil code means. 
it requires an owner of a property to provide various items of information from an HOA to a purchaser of the property uh, for their due diligence before the transfer of title. So you wanna make sure that your sales contract uh, already, or our California contract already talks about this, but every association is run differently in their own way, have separate bylaws or rules or uh, ways of doing things. So we need to be able to have a client be able to review this and have sufficient time. So uh, the buyer is not, a, uh, the association is not a party to the transaction uh, between the owner and the, and the buyer. You know, those are the parties. So they do not have to disclose any information or be helpful to any buyer. That's why the seller is responsible to take care of this and to deliver the documentations because the HOA responds only to the homeowners. That's who they serve. So uh, because it takes time, it's energy, they got to prepare these documents for every single type of sale, they do have ability to make a cost associated with their duties uh, to keep the association going, but it's not supposed to be for exorbitant fees. So um, what, it, what, what is nice about section 4528, uh, we, we can go ahead and I'll pull this screen up and share this screen. And this is an article written by a really good CAR attorney, uh, Kelly Richardson, who's a friend of mine. And when he talks about, and he, he knows about HOA uh, management and, and, and he does, he's an attorney for a lot of uh, apartment buildings, but uh, California Civil Code 4528 requires that the HOA, uh, when you have a written request, they provide a breakdown of what fees are charged for each separate document or uh, uh, request that the owner needs. Because in the past, what they were doing is charging one time, uh, maybe $700 or $800, maybe a high amount, and they bundle everything together and say, this is our transfer fee for preparing these docs. And some owners only already had an original copy of everything else they just needed maybe the updated budget or the updated minutes of the, of, or, or whatnot. So this civil code 4528 allows and makes the HOA manager or president not charge for everything. And they're able to separate the fees out to a reasonable expense, the cost of reproduction and for sale, sending this. And uh, you can always get a written advanced estimate of the fees by putting it in writing and using a form. So it just allows the homeowner to save if they keep the copies of their old stuff and retain them. And then they only need specific documents to, to get it updated. So uh, that's, that's really what it is. I wanna teach you what the uh, documentation uh, and, the, and the, the language of the civil code is. So you could read this. Um, I'll share just exactly what our next form would look like when we are doing our transactions. So the lesson here is, um, <clears throat> there's two forms that we could use regarding HOAs. One of them is the BHAA. It's an optional form. It's nice to provide to a buyer to advise them of the importance of what a, an HOA is. Uh, it tells them what they should be reviewing and to review you know, like rules and regulations, pet policy, parking, storage, and all these different various things. This is the first page of what the BHA is. Are you guys on my, seeing my slides? Yes. Okay, good. I, I, okay, great. So really just whenever there's an HOA, I, I, I do whether you're on the buyer or the list side, it's nice to provide this form and let them know that they have to review things like assessments and future assessments, uh, review the reserves and, and, and the CCNRs, okay? The other form to, to be aware of and knowledgeable, um, which not many people are using right now, it's an optional form, is uh, this form over here called HOA-RS. This is the one I'm talking to you about regarding separating of fees and not overpaying if you already have a copy of your previous 
maybe you, you bought last year the condo and you already have the old uh, CCNRs and HOAs, you don't need the entire documents. You only need to get updated. And so you can just pay for what's the recent updates regarding the minutes and the finances. And so that's where you can just go ahead and separate and have a, a, a split fee uh, request to the president to fill out. And the association manager can go ahead and, and just let your client know what fees there are. And you can use this to your advantage so that way you can negotiate uh, what, what, what fees you're paying for. Uh, there is a lot of resistance sometimes because Nature Way doesn't always see this form, but they are required to uh, cooperate and provide by the state and not charge exorbitant fees. So just wanted to under you understand this in your transactions because more than half our transactions in the future are going to be multifamily condominiums or townhouses because California is very limited in our land. So all we're building and developers are just building units nowadays. Any questions regarding that? All right, well, moving on, uh, just reminding you that the uh, CAR did update their PUA and their pandemic assistance for those who did unemployment or did a, a PPP loan. So, up, so you can always understand how to do your, uh, what's called, your forgiveness if you have a PPP loan. And uh, if you had unemployment, that's wonderful for you. Uh, but now that's ended. So now you guys are going back to work. So I wanna encourage you to get busy because it's, it is a very busy season still in real estate. Uh, COVID has kind of slowed things down. And so I think we're gonna continue to have a hot uh, autumn, uh, fall season this year. So check out our resources at, co at our uh, Team Dynasty Drive and like our social media pages because I'm going to share something new. We do have a new uh, staff member here in Temple City. Uh, she's great. Her name is going to be Casey and she's going to be helping me with my social media and my online marketing for the business. And she's also going to be working as a receptionist for Mondays and Fridays. So say hello to Casey when you come in. Uh, she's great. She's wonderful. She's got her uh, uh, upper level degree in, uh, in marketing and I'm so excited to have her here with us to help us with the company uh, online presence. You're going to see a lot of changes, so subscribe to our channels and look forward to that. Our MLS portion of the meeting, I'm going to start our new listings and remind you about the cooperation, clear cooperation policy. Anytime you sign a listing, you do need to register it within 48 hours or place it under active in the MLS or put it into coming soon. Those are your three options, registered, and that just simply means putting it within 48 hours and letting the MLS know you have a listing. Uh, and you're gonna use the form SELM if you're gonna put it in like, let's say beyond 48 hours, like four or five days later, then you have that form uh, signed. If you have uh, a listing that's gonna come out within 21 days on the market, you could place it under coming soon with one photo. And that does not start your days on market. It's a nice feature to get some activity without having any showings uh, on your property. Uh, the third one you can do is called active. And we all know what active means. It's just ready and you insert your property right in the MLS within 48 hours. So those are your three statuses. Just a reminder, these are gonna be our new listings. We have a lot of activity every single week. I'm seeing some new stuff from you guys. I'm excited and I know and I see a lot of you guys be transitioning more and more into listing agents, which I love because that is important for you as a, as a professional to focus on getting these listings and you're gonna find a lot of buyers because of this. So I have uh, Ming Wu coming soon. She has 16274. Mount Ackerman Circle in Downton Valley. I don't have the price right now, but you can contact Ming for this beautiful four bedroom, two and a half bath, and nearly 3,000 square feet living area. Talk to Ming, this is right up there, a nice great location in the great neighborhood. We have Tani having a new listing over here in Glendora, 603 Glen Lynn Drive. She has a single family home in Glendora for 525,000 
with the nearly 7,000 square foot lot. I know this is an amazing price. I know she's had a lot of activity and this one is probably gonna go within her first five or seven days. So if you have someone talk to Katani right away, just went on MLS and she's had lots of activity and showings. Uh, so <coughs> congratulations to Doreen. Doreen Tuan has a new lease on 2nd Avenue, Arcadia for 3,000 per month. It's a three bedroom, one and a half bath and a nice huge 16,000 square foot lot. So uh, if you have any information, uh, if you have any clients for, for that, talk to her about that. Uh, I think this is a duplex. We have uh, another listing over here by Lawrence Lau. This is in Los Angeles, 100 South Alameda Street, Unit 335. No, no, there, are, there are no pictures on screen. There's no picture on screen? No. Let me, let me see. Can you see it now, Billy? No. Okay, we got it now. Okay, thank you, Billy. Uh, I think it's thank hard you. sometimes the... I don't know what it is, but when I'm using Zoom and I'm speaking, I can't always monitor what you guys see. So I need you, someone to speak up if you don't see uh, the, the PowerPoint slides and you know I'm talking about slides. Last week I did this and I uh, was sharing and, and talking, but no one spoke up about telling me like, you, like Billy just did. I appreciate you, Billy, for being here. Let me know what you're seeing or not seeing and that way we can go forward. So this is Doreen's listing over here. And uh, this is uh, her rental in Arcadia for 3,000 per month. Very reasonable, less than $2 a square foot. And uh, that's amazing price for Arcadia in Second Avenue, very prime area. So that one should probably lease very quickly. We also have another lease here in Alameda Street by Lawrence Lau. This is 2150 per month for a one bedroom, one bath, 735 square foot uh, condo but it recently built in 2005. Congratulations to Glenn O. Young. He has a nice, beautiful listing here in Arcadia. This is 815 Camino Grove Avenue. Where can you get a 4,000 plus square feet property for just 2.375 million? This is a huge 94, 93 square foot lot, recently built in 2017. So conditions should be immaculate. And I encourage you to go ahead and then bring your clients over to here if you have someone looking for something special. Um, and uh, this one's ready to go. It's move in and looks great. Congratulations, Glenn. And Henry Liu, congratulations to his nice little listing over here in Hesperia. This is almost a 2,000 square foot uh, single family house with five bedrooms, four and a half baths and only 370,000. This beautiful listing here comes with a huge lot, 75,000 plus square feet. That's 1.73 acres, not too, uh, not too old in 1987. So it has been retrofitted for earthquake safety. I encourage you to take a look and uh, see if you have anyone looking for this type of uh, property or investment. Nancy, congratulations. She has a beautiful Redondo Beach <coughs> condominium. This is 2201 Matthews. <coughs> Over 2,070 square feet, four bedrooms, three and a half bath, recently built 2008 condo. And uh, yeah, it's a very lovely uh, unit. It's got some nice uh, features to it. And I uh, just wanted to let you know and, and share. Hopefully she can get an offer soon. Uh, 1.15 million is the asking price, but Redondo Beach is a very, very excellent neighborhood and area. So Arcadia uh, agents, all right, you guys, you guys have been busy. Henry's also got another lease. This is 515 Fairview Avenue, number nine on Arcadia. Only 1750 per square, uh, 1750 for the lease, two bedrooms, one and a half bath. And Danny, hi, he's got another coming soon. This is 3013 San Ignacio Drive in El Monte. 
So congratulations to Danny for this 599,000 single family residence. Uh, it's a three bedroom, two bath on a nice 7,300 lot. So talk to Danny if you have someone for El Monte and uh, it's a very attractive price considering uh, it's only uh, this less than 600,000 for a single family with a big lot. Danny has another listing here uh, coming soon. 4323 Richwood Avenue, El Monte. Take your client and show both of them. Uh, his contact info is below. It's coming soon to the market, very, very soon. 4323 Richwood Ave for three bedrooms, two bath. Uh, I do have a new listing on my own that I wanted to share with you. I did register this one in Arcadia. Uh, the lot line is a little bit uh, crooked, but basically what we're dealing with is an amazing Arcadia lot on a prime uh, street. This is 457 Longden Avenue, Arcadia. We just signed the listing. It's a three bedroom, two bath, huge, huge 16,924 double lot. So this is a prime opportunity for someone who wants to build your own dream estate. Uh, it is uh, remodeled slightly or partially remodeled on the inside, but it still needs some work to do to get it updated. And uh, you can see here that there is a, a big yard that goes right around all the way over here, just like the neighbor. So the whole street on Longden, just uh, east of, I think it's Holly, just, just uh, east of Baldwin, I'm sorry. You can find out this property and drive by. I can have the keys in my, I have the keys in my office right now. If you wanna check it out, any clients looking for a nice development or remodeling, uh, this is, could be the one asking 1.488 million. And we also have a new coming soon. This is with Grace Ho and I'm co-listing with her. This is a beautiful potential development property as well for anyone who likes to do a fix and flip. This is an investor's dream because you are right here in the heart of Miracle Mile and all of the great museums like the Peterson Auto Museum and MoMA Contemporary Modern Art. Uh, the whole museum row, this is just blocks away. Congratula uh, congratulations to Grace for this. Uh, it's 1047 Hauser Avenue in Los Angeles. Two bedrooms, two baths. Uh, this is a... It's 1860 square foot living area on a large 7284 square foot lot. There is a pool and a two car garage in the back. I do have photos of the interior. <clears throat> it is registered and coming soon. Uh, the owner still doing a little bit of uh, renovations, doing paint and stucco uh, repair and should be ready to go maybe in 10 to 14 days. So we'll have the photography done right after that. Just letting you guys know if you have someone looking or any investors, fix and flippers looking, this area, this neighborhood is already is selling for 1.5 to 1.6 million. So uh, if you have anyone who wants to look for some upside, there is upside in this property. We would love to have and work with you. The next, uh, I think this is the last one. So we have some closings to celebrate. Uh, Emily Zhao, congratulations to her lease, commercial lease here, this little warehouse in Paramount Boulevard, Pico Rivera. Congratulations to her in getting this leased out. And uh, David Tam, congratulations. He just sold this quadplex in record time, uh, 3020 Console Ave in El Monte. I'm so proud of David to see him be able to sell this four units, deal with four uh, tenants while selling the property during COVID and scheduling all these inspections. And it was a, it's a nightmare to deal with multiple tenants. And he did an amazing job, everything on time. So a uh, very, very uh, congratulations to David on that. And anyone else want to pitch anything or any other coming soons that you want to share with the company? I have an auto shop for sale. Yeah, share your, I know you have an auto shop. Uh, you want to yeah, share that? That one is an industrial building with 3,000 square feet on the building. And the lot is about 17,000 square feet. So 
the owner prefer to sell it with the business. It's a very reputable auto repair business, and the whole lot plus business sold for one point nine eight. Million. That's great. So you get the you get the business and the and the and the and the lot as well. Yeah, I'll share the uh, LoopNet link in the okay. chat. Great. Yeah, you can share your link. I know you uh, you did an excellent job. You've been on fire, Laura. Thank you for sharing that. Anything else you have, or anyone else? Well, I'll share the final. I guess last. Uh, uh, Quote of the day, I do like to put two quotes in sometimes at the beginning and the end, um, just to leave you with some inspiration. The most, successful, the most successful people in life are the ones who ask questions. They're the ones who are always learning. They're always growing. They're always pushing. And I want to just, uh, this is from the author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki. Um, so if you read that book, you know what I'm talking about but he's always encouraging a very curious mindset. He's encouraging you to think for yourself, to be able to push yourself because that's how you grow. When you, everything comes easy to you or everything is, <clears throat> every, you know, everything is a referral to you, <clears throat> uh, you're not gonna grow your business because you know, you're not trying new things. You're not pushing yourself to your limits. And uh, you know, like we talk about uh, you know, uh, someone who's uh, you know, in, 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 a, in a pool and trying to float, um, you know, if you're forcing yourself to uh, underwater, you're gonna find a way to breathe. You're gonna find a way to rise up. You're gonna find a way to swim um, and keep pushing yourself harder. So, you know, just wanna encourage you to push yourselves. Don't let, get lazy just because it's September and it's starting to be the um, you know, holiday seasons with uh, November and December. I tell you, there's still a good two, three more months of real estate going on this year. So push yourself, grow your business, Focus on your tools and, and learning and knowledge. There's great conventions that are coming up in the next two months with Cobal Banker and with Car Reimagine. So uh, these are some great opportunities, guys. Uh, you guys have a great week. I hope you enjoyed your long weekend and your Labor Day. It's now time to go back to work. And uh, call or text me if you have any questions or need anything or assistance or support in your business, okay? Thanks, guys. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Great seeing you guys. Thanks for joining us. Have a good one, everybody.